Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hopefully you're having a good day. The event for Strategos Islin, the Fusion Fragment event, has begun. I want to recap his skills real quick, give you my thoughts and opinions, and then we'll go over the calendar together. He is a defense-based champion. He looks like Tyrell got promoted. I'm digging the shield. I like the cloak, and I think his Moonblade looks pretty cool. He does have some story to him i'm not gonna read all that but it's there if you want to look at it real quick he's got a provoke on the a1 and then looks like he has a decreased duration of all enemy buffs by one turn a booked up 100 chance to place decreased speed really good for iron twins and hydra ally protect increased deep defense counter attack and then shield on this champion with it being proportional to his defense and it looks like he's got decent stats there four turn cooldown i can see him using that in probably hydra as well i i'm very hydra focused so everything th i think of is, is pretty much hydra and it looks like this is a healing ability heals by one percent every time he's hit for 500 defense the champion has okay and then heals all of the allies under ally protect buffs by 30%. So he gets attacked, he heals himself, and then he spreads some of that heal to his friends. I'm gonna skip him. It doesn't seem like he's got anything in his kit that is outlandish or new or anything that's going to bring something to my account that I need. Because I can do everything that I need to do without him. I don't want to go through the trouble of chasing this fusion if he's not gonna end up being worth anything to me it's kind of like emic where a lot of the ccs were saying oh emic is a great champion like granted i'm sure he's a solid champion and i'm not saying he was a bad he's a bad champion i'm just saying for me there there's nothing in his kit that helped me i went for him on my alt as well and he didn't do anything for me on, on my alt either ignore the build that i have on him i kind of threw whatever gear on him just to be able to do or just to progress in sylvan watchers but i haven't really focused down on him but island is going to be the same thing I, i'm not i might if i were to go for him i would not be able to do anything with him nothing account changing i'm not saying don't go for him i'm just saying i'm skipping him those are my reasons why let's go over the calendar by the way if you want to join the discord link will be down below we would love to have you guys be part of the community so come join all right, we have 55 in the tournament, 55 in events. So 55 up here, 55 down here, a total of 110. And then you can get an extra 20 here and here if you're doing the champion chase in the champion training. Placing top in any of the tournaments usually is kind of hard to do, unless you're in a bracket where no one else is really bothering with it. Or let's say you get lucky and a lot of people don't want to bother with the with the fusion you might be able to scoop up first and then real quick i just wanted to show this here i look at the forum this guy says finally some breathing room in the game easy skip yeah i agree and i wanted to point this out right here for this fragment event the champion training tournament and the champion chase tournament will award an extra five fragments to players who place in either first or second place on the leaderboards if the player that finishes first in the champion training tournament is above level 41, they will receive 10 fragments instead. If the player that finishes first in the champion chase tournament is above level 31, they will also receive 10 fragments instead. So if you're a newer player, you might want to consider, take that into consideration. Again, not saying don't do it, but just keep that in mind. Whenever I look at event calendars, I look for what I can skip. So if we have, let's let's just say we don't we don't do the we don't let's just say we don't place top ten. I'm oh, sorry. Let's just <laughs> let's just say we don't place top in either the champion training tournament or the champion chase tournament. That leaves us with 110 up for grabs. So you could probably skip two events, two five fragment events, or one ten fragment event. I personally hate champion training, so that's something that I would skip. But another thing that I like to skip are the summoning events. So you could skip the champion chase tournament and then just focus on the summoning event or summon rush. The thing is, CVC just happened and prior to that there was the fusion event. In between that, there'd been a lot of summoning events. So I don't know who has shards right now. 
Unless you're a Kraken or you're willing to spend money for this champion, which I don't think you should. I don't know who has shards. The summoning events are going to be kind of iffy, but I think you can work around it. Just pick and choose. Hopefully you have the shards for it or champion sitting in the summoning gate. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to save my resources and just chill out and focus on other aspects of the game. You know, this is a reminder to you. Look, you don't have to do everything in the game. Polarium is really good about trying to throw a bunch of things at, at you and, and you might feel, especially if you're new to the game or you're like really addicted to the game, you might be like, oh, I need to get that, I need to get that, I need to do that event. You don't have to. You might burn out. Just relax, chill. You don't have to do everything. Pick and choose. Pick and choose your battles. And this is a battle I'm not going to choose. Anyway, that's going to do it here. So... If you're going for him, good luck. If you're not, more power to you. Save that for the next event. Have a good day. Have a good life. Peace.